Ladies and gentlemen, hello! Welcome back to RimWorld. This is episode number five. I am General Ming, and thank you for joining me. Really quick before we get started with anything, I just want to apologize if you can hear any fans. We've got some running out in the room next door because we just cleaned the carpets. So, ignore those, they'll be gone soon enough. Regarding the actual game, though, a quick recap of the last four episodes. We've got the beginning plans for a hidey hole in the mountains. Uh, we're going to turn that into sort of a fallback shelter if we need it, and potentially a primary residence, uh, depending on how it looks at the end. We've also got, of course, our four little bedrooms here, and Jet is naked right now because we have no clothes for her. Get that fixed soon. And we have Moran here, who is currently a captive. And if we check the character, it's a volatile, bloodthirsty chemical. Uh, chemically, chemically fascinated, rather. Uh, and frankly, those are three terrible stats. Or, uh, terrible character traits. So we're gonna go ahead and not keep her. Uh, we're just gonna let her heal up. And then we're going to release her, uh, just as soon as she's healed. And yeah, I think with that said, we can just go and jump right into it. There's not too much happening right now. Uh, we have low food, of course, because we have one meal and five meat. And we have Jet, who is not happy about being naked. That. Alright, there we go. Now I can see the whole thing. So... I come over here to work. Taylor's our best tailor is actually Jet at uh, level five, tied with Emily also at level five. So I think in the morning we're gonna set Jet to the task of, or we'll set Emily to the task of finishing this tribal work. We set Jet to the task she'll actually start making a new one, and that's kind of not what we want. Moran is capable of walking now, which is nice. So, got a little bit more to heal up yet, but she'll be okay. Here, and we go to order and hunt. Find a few more things we can hunt. Hunt that, we can hunt the turtle. Turkey, the other turtle. That should be okay. Um. Hello, Flair. That's less than ideal, but it should be okay. Pick up the speed to the fastest we can go without cheating, because we really just don't have any reason to not do that right now. There's not a whole lot to be done. That's just gonna wake up and get the uh, early meal to feed to the prisoner, because that just makes sense, of course. Emily is off going hunting. Really loud and obnoxious. No. Alright now. Prior prioritize this tailoring because I don't want to listen to you shoot right now. Color for the message is fine. We are now, of course, starving, which is less than ideal. Oil within running distance. A little bit. I'm already using it though. That's kind of it, really. Got a copy of that to be built as well, just so we can have some brightness. Nash still having a minor break risk because she's just a little bit, uh, a little bit out there sometimes. Doesn't like the dog. She's just not feeling well. Terrible bedroom. Overheated ate raw food, and is starving, and has a hideous environment, so that's always fun. And now she's got malaria. That is not the type of thing I was really hoping to hear. That's obnoxiously loud. That one to, that one to medical. I know I told you to take that pistol the other uh, round, but 
back to the rifle, it's a little bit quieter. Got four, but our two best, or Nash can't even doctor, so actually she is our best doctor. Good to know, and she's already on her way to attend, which is great. Uh, not the idea. I actually want to look at the best medicine. I don't have any of the best anyway. Oh, it's up. There we go. Uh, where are they? Here. Fine. Yeah, hey, you can wear shoddy clothes. Emily can put, or, uh, Jet can put that on in the morning. Nash's malaria is... Uh, probably gonna... Probably stay immune. Hard to say, really, at this point. Better off if she was just resting, but going to. So it'll be a close call. A raw rat probably isn't the best situation. Go ahead and set manual priority. If we can't salvage some of this. Set the doctoring skill to priority. Best and the warding is important. Eating is important. And do that also. Ash. Uh, uh, no, right now. I'm getting lower priority, like growing a higher priority. Mining can be that lower. All of those that they are, except for the art. Just nobody really cares. And that all. Oh, well. All right. Hopefully, this fixes some of our issues. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Uh. She is at the point now where we could probably just let her go. Grab it too. Oh. oh, you're just you're so terrible. You're so terrible. You like shooting. with the malaria. Fishing should be okay though. Honestly, Emily. You are just downright terrible. You're better off letting the turkey die from blood loss. Honestly. I don't even care. That's not good. Well, it's a pack of one. Better at least. Doesn't somebody have the map? Oh, there's the map. You are a knife. Go ahead and just keep Emily. Lost the rat.
I told you two of you. And it was like to be not because Wait, no. Nope. The thing first. Very not good. I don't honestly care if she escapes. I just don't want to deal with that anymore. She's a drain on the resources and she doesn't actually give us anything. We're starving, we need beds. Good meds for everybody. Self-tend, except for Nash, of course, who's not allowed. Oh. This always makes me laugh, just because... If we can manage to salvage this, I will be impressed. We're going to allowing medicines. Uh, we can keep these kill root pack herbal medicines uh, under a decent set, or instead, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Um, lots of mood, uh, mood words. Yeah, they don't care. Debuff. That's they, they don't care. really could use right now is one person who is just a really good tutor. Because Emily with her level 5 is just not good enough. We need a level 10. We need a uh, larger well I think. I can just get seems like a better plan. So we can have a faster haul on the rice, because we need 10 rice to make a single meal. These meals, uh, down. Needless to say, I'm not necessarily the best at this game. Usually I can do decently. Of course, my own personal thought on my capacity, not necessarily an accurate one all the time. Percent, just put it out there because we aren't going to use it. 
let it decompose for now. A second. Not there. Second. All rich soil here. Go ahead and make the grow zone. Okay. Eighteen by eight. Your plant. Eat potatoes raw. Something with meat raw. We're gonna go ahead and do uh we'll do strawberries actually. Those I know you can eat raw. Just in case we need to. And somebody's out there shooting a gun. Turtle has not actually been successfully hit once yet. Wow, well, that's not. Like, consume it. Oops. Don't tame the rabbit. Statistically, that rabbit will wind up turning on us because rabbits are terrible. I know there's something we could tame that doesn't. Oh. Alright, screw it. There's something you can tame, but I forget what it is now. Just wait. Emily. You shoot the turtle. See? And the shell. Of... We get really close, it's hard to get away. Christians have problems. Town with a pistol. Uh, run up to the to the rabbit. Of course, now she doesn't actually want to hunt the rabbit. Ooh, that's a fire. <sighs> Get adjusted here. A little bit more comfortable for myself, so I can sit here and record more. Again with the lightning. It's almost like there's a storm. Planted for us pretty quick here, which is great. We're gonna start growing. Good deal. Into four, uh, or even five, actually. <laughs> that would be the timer to say, hey, we're out of time for this episode. So, thank you everybody for joining me. This was episode number five of Rimworld. Uh, we didn't really accomplish much. Uh, 
Rim World is one of those games that sort of has to go in first. Everything will happen and then things will just go wrong slowly and you gotta fix it all later. So for now, I'm gonna say thank you all for joining me and I'll see you guys in episode 6. Adios.